Hey guys, so this is part two of my video of the gymnastics special event on my channel. Now we're back with um, the next athlete that's going to be presenting herself, Simone Biles. She is a 30 time world medalist, 23 goals under her name, so she is the best of the best. Um, the cool thing about Simone Biles is that she won her ninth all-around championships I think a couple of weeks ago or last year if I'm not mistaken um, so she's back now to compete for the trials making her third Olympic appearance um, I think that's pretty cool um, I think last year as well as in 2021 at the Tokyo Games it took a lot of mental um, powers off the athletes especially to compete at the highest position and at the same time to stay secure when you had no fans in the stadium I think that took a mental um, break to actually come back to feel yourself again and to compete back to back I think that's very important to focus on your mental health first like I mentioned in my previous video with Sonny Lee so now we're back so I don't want to hold this any further so this is Simone Biles on her day one at the gymnastic trials heading to Paris Olympics Simone Biles the 27 year old widely considered the greatest of all time seven time Olympic medalist four of them gold everybody knows what happened in Tokyo two years away mm -hmm. came back and started that road to Paris here we go all right on even bars our first look how quick she gets from one bar to the next she said that bars is really a feeling especially that feel right there she doesn't like to look at the bar she just likes to feel where she is in the air That's pretty strong. A few of her past handstands were short of the handstand. And to me, that tells me she's trying to get through the routine. Maybe she's feeling a little bit of nerves from the chaos going around in this environment. But I think it's good for everyone to see these athletes putting these routines to their feet. Awesome. So Lamont out there, Cecilia Landy as well, hugged all around. So one event in the books for Simone Biles here at Olympic Trials. First of four rotations. So if I'm not mistaken, you need four different rotations in order for you to make it to the top, I think six or top, uh, I think top six or top seven to, to head to the um, Olympic uh, Games. So Simone Bai just did the uneven bars. I think what's next, I'm interesting. Like your landing had to well, be perfect. Off balance, but pulls it back on to make this connection. Well, she does well with those little adjustments throughout her routine, not just on this event, but on all four. There's a there's a there's a event. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the name of it. It's called All Around Floors, if I'm not forgetting that name. It's when they like they do backflip, backflip, backflips, and then they dance a little bit, and then they go back into backflips. I think it's called Floors, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can correct me with the names. So we wait for the number now, as does Simone. And 14.25 the number. But they've actually refrained just to make it so comfortable for her to compete under okay, pressure. Okay, this is the beam. Not the way she started, wanted to I think a lot of people stumble on this because it's so narrow. And then, like, you gotta do backflips to get on top of that. It's di looking at things now. Gymnastics is pretty scary and difficult. If you don't start as a young child, you're going to be afraid when you get to like adulthood, especially if you never did it before. Team routine. That now has been giving her trouble the last few competitions. Ooh. The toughest thing on 
beam is when you do make a mistake, try to have a short-term memory and brush it off so that one mistake doesn't turn into multiple. And you can see on her face, she's just frustrated now. To put it in perspective, she got a 14-8 both days of championships. So she's typically very consistent on this event. <laughs> gymnastics, sometimes it's better practice to have a few mess ups and practice that reaction versus those easy routines. Ooh, so she fought through good landing. Certainly not her little best stumble, but team. good landing. How about the reaction too? Even at the start, she was like, Are you kidding me? What's going on here? Score in for Simone Biles, thirteen point a thirteen a thirteen point six five for Simone Biles. Um, difficulty is six point two execution is 7.4 so I'm starting to understand how they do these things when it comes to how you execute it all depends on the points um, this is the balance beam so yeah so this is interesting so so far it's kicking off to a very interesting start for the first day um, and then we're gonna jump into the men's side in a couple of minutes um, I want to see Frederick, um, I think Jackson, and then Asher Hung. So these two, I want to see um, what they do. Um, yeah, but it, it's crazy to think about because when you look at the men and women side, their performance of how they do their techniques are so different. But when you look at what Simone Biles has been doing for a while, and how she's able to execute these things and lightning spas reaction it goes to show that you know she could even hold the, a candle with even the men as well depending on what events that she, she plan on doing point six five you see the green arrow indicating a good score oh there it is I love that event. Triple double, hardest tumbling pass in the entire world right there. If I'm not mistaken, she's the only one that I've seen in this in this event. A lot of people don't do this specific event. I'm trying to find the name of this event, but hopefully they bring it up so I where I can remember it. So yeah. If I'm not mistaken, you have to stay within the the square. You can't get out, or else you will get points off. Out of bounds. Out of Is that Traffic Scott song? I think they played the uh, Traffic Scott's um, Echoes. That's in the left room. There's not much of sports like watching Simone Biles on floor. Oh, so I'm right. It's called floor. I thought it was a uh, round floor. So it's called floors. Interesting. So I'm going to list the names that I know. So that way when I do start covering the gymnastics at the Paris games, that I would I would tag the names accordingly 
to um, the athlete. Like I said, this is new to me and I hope you guys are enjoying it with me as well. Because I think it's cool to see athletes from a different perspective of what they do best. Because like I said, it's not always just track and field. I want to make sure that we cover so much than just track and field. This year, I'm expanding the floodgates of different um, genres of athleticism for everything for this year's Olympics. I'm doing a lot of different ways of being more engaged and being more eye-opening to new possibilities. I think that's interesting to me right now. There is the number 1485. You mentioned the book. The difficulty is 6.9. She got execution of 8 850. So total is 14850. Whoa. Floors execution. That's what was scary to me. This one, you oh gotta run. God. If they if they manage to do something like this, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back before she do it again. If they ever put something in track and field, I would love them to put something like that where people could do backflip as a part of the event on the field. Cause we have something called like triple jump where you run or long jump. You run and then you jump. Right, but this one you run and then you do the backflip and you stick it, you land. That would be so cool if they put that on the field. But you know, I think they would have to put something for you, like your hands in order for you to not mess up. But that's for another day. I love this one too. I love this um this um part as well. Run, 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 run. It's like a sprint. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you guys couldn't see it, but I was thumbs up in Terry in the run. That first couple of steps were so controlled, I knew it was going to be a good one. That is out of this world. You gotta be fast. And another one in the bank. We call it a block, and if you're watching from home and you put your arms above your ears and do a shoulder that? shrug, that's basically what she's doing, but in a much more dynamic way. All right, Simone, let's start with the highlight, the vault. I know you probably get tired of us asking about it over and over again. So this is look called at, the vault. Look hmm. at how incredible it is. What part of that is, is it? Is it the entry? What what part of it do you have to focus on the most? I think throughout the whole entire ball, I have to think about a good, slow, steady run of a good round off with my So test. she's the leader of night one, so I can't wait to see what night two has in store. Ten, and then from there, I just have to think about not blasting it to outer space. And I kind of did that today, but I remembered to open, which usually if I were in the gym, I'd probably over-rotate. But I'm just happy that I still had a little bit more adrenaline and energy than I wanted to, but I could still successfully land it. The tension for Olympic trials is just different. How would you describe what it's like competing out here to people? It's stressful. It's heavy. I feel like a lot of us have like cotton now because we're so stressed out. But you know, it's one of the best pressure situations to be in going into the Olympics because I feel like if we can do this, then we can do anything. One more day. What's one thing you maybe want to tweak for, for day two? Oh my gosh, beam. I'm, I'm so upset about beam. I'm really disappointed in myself because that's not how I train. And so going forward, I'm going to try to compete how I train on that event because I know I'm good at it. I know I can do better. So that's what I'm going to work on. Appreciate it. Thank you. And like I said, Simone Ba is a perfectionist when it comes to the gymnastics. I mean, she is a Virgo for peak six. So the cool thing is that, you know, like she said, those are certain things. When you have an athlete that is mentally tough, it's very easy to see they could find the flaws in themselves and they could correct that in the next day. You know, um, I think she's stronger than ever, you know she had to recoup herself especially from the um, Tokyo games and now she's she looks like she's stronger than ever 
you know and I'm so proud of her about that you know this was fun so I've learned some new names um, floors um, beam the uneven bars so I'm I'm getting there so I'm, I'm becoming more in tune of the names it's just sometimes I don't know the names that match with the events but I always love the floors because they manage to do their little dance and then they just continues so I think that was pretty cool so thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to just take away and do something different and I think that's pretty cool um, like I said I'll see you guys on the men's side um, I'm gonna look at two other athletes on day one and then we're gonna look at day two and then we will start closing out okay guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye